The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by Thirsty Lion Gastro Pub. St. Patrick's Day is when the green beer flows and the Reuben sandwiches are being eaten. And here to throw their hat in the ring as the best Reuben sandwich in the valley <laughs> is the Thirsty Lion Gastro Pub. And Chef Andy, I will say, I don't want to start any fights. I don't want anything like that, but I see you didn't even flinch at when I said the best Reuben sandwich in the valley. I stand by our Reuben. I guarantee it's one of the best. <laughs> yeah, I like it. OK, before we start, tell everybody what Gastro Pub means. Gastro Pub, we are a pub that serves handcrafted food, handcrafted drinks, and handcrafted beer. We serve the best products out there to make great food. I like that. There you go. And we got some of the dishes here that are going to be on the menu for St. Patrick's Day. But this is always served here at the restaurant a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah, we serve. We do have a seasonal menu, um, but most of these items can be served all year round. Yeah. Um, and we are offering a uh, seasonal menu for St. Patrick's Day. Which is very important. And one tradition is, of course, the shepherd's pie. The classic shepherd's What's pie, in yeah. the shepherd's pie? So we have ground beef, carrots, red onions, a beef gravy, of course, a white cheddar mashed potato, cheddar cheese, and some scallions for a garnish on there. There you go. And then the tradition of the... Uh, Corned beef, beef and, and cabbage. cabbage. Can't there we beat go. that. Very traditional white cheddar mashed potatoes, braised cabbage, braised corned beef, a whole mustard vinaigrette and of course a horseradish sour cream sauce. I like it. And then this is a tradition uh, that people don't realize, but that is the uh, devil eggs. But they're made not like your typical devil eggs. Now these are what we call our Scotch eggs. And um, what we do is we take some spicy, uh, spicy ground pork, regular ground pork, wrap it around in a parboiled egg, bread it, fry it, and we serve it with a whole grain mustard sauce. Oh my gosh, so delicious. Okay, what do we got here? And of course we've got to have potato cakes. So this is a potato cakes with bacon, cheddar, scallions, onions, deep fried, panko breaded, served with the sour cream and a chili uh, aioli. All right, and then the big dish right here? Over here is our pesto mac and cheese. Oh man. Corned beef, pesto sauce, cavatappi pasta, pickled onions, green onions, can't lose on that one. Oh my gosh, and then over here for dessert, is that the traditional shepherd pie? Nope, this is our traditional oh. whiskey bread pudding. Ooh, okay. If you like bread pudding, it's a great way to top off a dinner. There you go. All right, you are going to make a Reuben sandwich for us, and that is what you have down here. It's a traditional yep. Reuben uh, that make, and this is kind of a, a very important part of making a Reuben, is the bread, am yes. I right? We use a, whole, a rustic white bread. Uh, very crusty on the outside, very soft in the middle, but we also, what helps us is that we griddle it, gives it that nice firm texture, and we also have some Swiss cheese on it. Ooh. Season it with some black pepper. Nice. Of course, can't be a Reuben without some Thousand Islands. There you go. Look at that, this is. And of course, this is torture to me right now. I can't eat any of this, and it's like torture right now. And of course, most <laughs> important is our corned beef. Oh my gosh, look at that. And, and making your corned beef, do you make it uh, a little secret there, or can you tell us how you make it? Well, it is kind of a secret what we do, but basically we braise our corned beef over three and a half hours. Oh my gosh. Cool it off, slice it up, but it's what our ingredients that we braise it with, everything's all fresh, made in-house. I love it. Okay, now, the important part is this, people, you gotta pay attention, and that's the way you cut your Reuben sandwich, because you don't want too little, you want don't want too much on each side. It's just perfect for getting the right amount of meat. Now watch us, go ahead, Chef so Andy. every bite, what you wanna do is, every bite, you wanna taste everything in yeah. it. So evenly disperse all your ingredients out, and of course, you got to showcase everything. Look at that. That is that is right there, showcasing it. I even I try to showcase things at home, just for myself, just to make it look good. There you go. But and is, of course, we, of course, oh, our French fries. Ah, house cut, fried in house every single day. Oh my gosh, look at that. As I show this off, let's talk about, of course, cocktails for St. Patty's Day. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. You can't have St. Patrick's Day without some cocktails. We have a Bailey's uh, chocolate martini. Ooh. An old-fashioned mule, old-fashioned iris whiskey, and of course our green beer. There you go. Everybody was so busy <laughs> looking at the food. Let's go. So here goes the the, the uh, martini, right? Bailey's chocolate martini. Okay, down here. Uh, it's our old-fashioned mule. Okay. Irish mule and our Irish, Irish whiskey. I love it. And and of the course green beer. our green beer, all made with uh, Tillamardew. Uh, yeah. whiskey. I love it. Also, it's a very important day of giving for yes. you guys, and one you guys the, are doing something that's yeah, really cool. One of the things that we do is we partner up with the St. Baldrick Foundation, which helps kids with cancer. So a part of our uh, proceeds that we make off of the uh, off our drinks goes to that foundation up until uh, St. Patrick's Day. 
There you go. All right, so you can head over now and actually you don't have to wait for St. Patty's Day to get some great drinks, some great food, uh, and of course, music and fun. It's the Thirsty Lion Gastro Pub, the, Lion, the Thirsty Lion yep. Gastro Pub. How many locations for? We have four locations in the Valley, at Desert Ridge, Santan Mall, Chandler Mall, and also Tempe Marketplace. And we are opening our fifth location towards the end of the year at uh, Glendale Entertainment District. There it is. Westgate. And you want information, of course, getting your reservations, what they're going to be doing all day during St. Patrick's Day, head over to ArizonaDailyMix.com or to their website. All right, stick around. we got more of the mix after this.